In today's episode, we are going to make a really simple drawstring bag. I've tried a couple different techniques and I'm going to show you what I believe is the fastest and easiest using two pieces of fabric, some ribbon, twine, or whatever, pinking shears, and of course your sewing machine. Okay, so the first step is to put our fabrics right sides together. And then you're going to take a pen. You can use chalk line, erasable pen, or I'm just going to use a regular ballpoint pen because this is going to be on the inside. You won't see it at all. And we're going to measure down two inches from that top edge. And I'm just going to put a little mark a half an inch in from the side edges so that we're going to know where to start and stop. I'm going to start with my needle right on that two inch mark and we're going to sew the three sides with a half inch seam. The next step is to prepare the top where we're going to put the cord through and also use our pinking shears on the side so it isn't going to fray a lot. So the first thing is you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut right to these lines but do not cut the stitching. Do that on either side. And now I'm going to take my handy dandy pinking shears and I'm just going to cut pretty close to the stitching. I'm going to cut these three sides up to that two inch point where we cut that. So we're not cutting up here, we're just cutting to there. And I usually just fold that back just to make sure I don't catch it. Funny story, once I was messaging someone about use, asking if they had pinking shears and either I typed or it auto-corrected to oinking shears. So from that day forward, I will always laugh and think of pinking shears as oinking shears and now I wish they came in pink. Now we're going to do a little bit of pressing on these long edges and I'm just going to use my Cricut mini press because it's such a small section. I don't want to have a bigger iron and have all that heat coming at me. So what you're going to do on all four of these little tabs basically is you're going to fold it over and over one more time so that the fold is lined up with your stitch line and then you're just going to press that. See how that is? And then I'm just going to make the other side even and repeat on the opposite side. While I sew the top one, I'm going to fold the bottom back so that it's going to be out of the way and I can just lay this flat and do really quickly four lines of stitching going straight. So I usually do one side at a time, then I fold this forward and I know that this is only about a quarter inch so I just stay pretty close to the edge. We have all four of those stitched down. That's going, we're going to make the channel for our cord now. So we're going to go back to the iron. Now I'm going to use my Cricut mini press again, and we are going to create the channel for our cord. So first we're going to fold down about a quarter inch from the top and press. And I like to turn it over and then just even it up just to make sure I'm folding down about the same amount on each side. And then we're going to fold down one more time. This will encapsulate those raw edges. Fold the folded edge down to where we started to do our zigzag stitch and where this ended. Then you're going to repeat this on the other side. And if you want to, you can pin or clip this together. I'm going to use this cute little Riley Blake bird pin because, gosh, it matches this fabric perfectly, just to hold that in place while we go back to the sewing machine. Now we just have two more stitching lines to do. We're going to stitch that side closed, that channel closed, and that channel closed. And I'm just going to stitch them like they're two separate pieces. I'm going to fold that part back so it doesn't get caught. And then I'm just going to stitch straight about an eighth of an inch that uh, ironed fold that we did. Okay, one side done. Now we're going to fold that side back. To turn this right side out push out those corners. And then all we need to do is put string into this channel. I did find that using two strings so that you can pull like this gives you the best closing. I tried to do it with one and it didn't close right on the one side. So I recommend you always do two. And I'm just gonna use twine. I kind of like the rustic look, plus it's super cheap. And I usually just do four times the width of the project, plus a little bit, just in case, you know, you need you need more for the knot. And then because this is twine, it kind of comes apart when I put the 
safety pin through it. So I just do a very loose knot because we're gonna take that out after we get this wound through. So you're gonna put a little safety pin in there and then it doesn't matter which side you start with the first one, you're gonna push that through and then you're going to put it through the other side as well. And you can take the safety pin off, take the two ends and I usually just pull to even them out. All right, so that's pretty long. I'm gonna knot it about here. I probably could have done closer to three, time, three times the width. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other string, but this time when we thread it through, we're gonna start where this is looped. So you don't start on the same side where it's knotted or you'll have two knots on the same side. So you wanna start on the opposite side. So then you just kind of want these to be pretty even. So I usually just pinch them together, figure out about where that knot is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want them pretty symmetrical. Tie and clip that end. And see, now it's gonna pull and it's gonna stay really nicely. So the big question is, what will you make bags for? I would love to know what your plans are. Are you just gonna make them to have? Are you making them for specific purposes? Drop me a comment below and let me know what you're thinking.